Turnovers by half. Reasonably well played game in that respect. Wise, what a play. Caught it in midair and just threw it right through. He's got 16. That was a defensive deflection, but it went right back into Wise's hands as Lexer gets the assist with an assist from the defender. Towson with their biggest lead of the game at 13 points now. Gaffney. His first missed three of the night, and Newton with the rebound. And Towson right now looks like they got a lot more spring in their legs. Wise again for three. And that may be a dagger right there, making it a 16-point game with 5-10 left to go. Wise has 19. And that's a new career high, besting his career high last year of 14 against Drexel and 16 earlier this year. What if he just keeps playing Drexel? Before you know it, that career high is going to be in the 20s. Linderman finally with a catch down low and a technical foul called on Newton. A technical foul called on Newton immediately by Joe DeMeo. And he may have just called a double T. He's sending everybody over the bench to calm it down. There's been a lot of talk going on. Linderman is still down on the other end of the floor. And he tossed yep. Newton out on that play. And that, that is the play that had to be made. That is the call that had to be made by the officials. Newton had to be tossed because Linderman went straight across the lane. And as he came down, all Newton did was lift the arm and hit him right in the face. Take a look right here. This is going to be a rough play when it gets done. You see Newton. Oh, wow. No question about that. He just kind of backed away. Tell you what, that's a shot right there that gets you suspended for a game after you take a look right here. He's thinking nothing but right here, but inflicting harm makes no play on it. Terrific call by the officials. Tell you what, sometimes those are plays that go unseen by the officials, but they were right on top of it. Newton, rightfully so, ejected from the game. Well, that is not only the type of play that gets you ejected from the game and, as you said, suspended, but an impossibly stupid play on the part of Newton because at this point with his team up 16 and controlling the game the way they are right now you can see a look at Linderman and he has got some blood coming out of a couple of different areas take a look at it in real time take a look at it right here you just you kind of almost see right there the clenched fist even before he catches it as Newton kind of backed away from him, clenched his fist, and was just looking for an opportunity to take a shot. Lindemann remains down on the ground. Obviously, you see the blood coming out from the chin. Yep. And I wonder whether or not they're going over there to think in terms of having to stitch him up. Oh. Wow. At his wrist right on the bottom of the lip in the area above the chin. And like we said, too, there was no attempt made at the basketball right there. He just kind of, he just kind of backed up and took a swing. We want to go to the monitor. They want to go to the monitor. Well, this is our we're going to need, gonna need the replay season. again. We've got an official coming to the monitor. We're going to need the replay again. John Sweeney over here to take a look at the play. We'll be needing the high look and the low look again. The officials are waiting on a call here at courtside. Here's the high look. There's the wind-up, and there's the punch. Now the officials were right on top of it. There was no question about that. John Sweeney coming over to try and make sure that that was indeed the case. And obviously what they thought has been confirmed. There's a look at the monitor. The officials right on top of coming over for that call. I'll tell you what, things are getting a little bit testy here right now. Well, second time this season that they've come over to take oh. a look at the monitors. And right there, Joe Lindemann being taken to the locker room. Tell you what, that was quite a shot. A lot of force right there. Obviously, he's kind of dazed and well, he took quite a shot to the head besides, obviously, the cut to his chin. Obviously disoriented as he was leaving the floor. And had to be. And there's Mike Jaskolski. And Bill Herrian was furious a couple of moments ago. Apparently, he has settled things down now, along well, the with the officials. Yeah, and, and the officials did exactly what they can do. And I, you see Joe DeMeo saying, what do you want us to do? We made the call. We called the tee, threw him out. The officials were right on top of it. Like I said, that's a play a lot of times that goes unnoticed. This time, the officials were right there. 
Now that time they weren't going to let it go, and there had been something brewing down there all night long. So Newton gets himself tossed with 17 points, 15 in the first half, and Mike Jaskolski's bench just got a little thinner. Right now they're sitting on a 16-point lead with 4.52 to go. The question is, is the mountain too big for Drexel to climb back up again? They'll have four foul shots coming here. You got the two foul shots that Lindemann would have been taking. Obviously, the sub will take those, and then there'll be the two shots on the technicals, and then Drexel re will retain possession of the ball. Wow. And now he's trying to plead his case to say, hold on, it wasn't one-on-one, -on -one, it was a two-shot foul. It was a two-shot foul as he was going up for the shot and spinning back around again. You would imagine we should be talking about four free throws here and then the basketball back again. Well, and here's the substitution for Lindemann. Dearborn, a terrific foul shooter. As we and scramble for those numbers. He has not attempted a free throw yet this year. Well, he's a terrific shooter. Hasn't really seen much time. Let's see if he can step in cold. Now coming off the bench cold, that's doing a little work. And here's a way you get back in the game from 16 down real quickly because he's camped out at the line for a while. Well, there wasn't the... Wasn't a technical foul. I thought I saw a T. I believe there was a technical foul, and that was it. Yes, they shot just the technical, and they say the foul was on the floor, not a shooting foul. Only 15 fouls, so not even the one and one yet. I think that's what they were looking at the replay, I guess, to see if the foul was on the shot. Dirakis. A big three-pointer as Rexley tries the long climb back. Well, now the crowd back into it. Obviously, that whole exchange got him pumped up, and then the three-point shot there by Dirakis. 11-point game. Big firing it down. Shot clock, they thought, was winding down, and a push-off foul going to be called on Towson. And Alfonso Hawes, and it gets a little bit uglier here in West Philadelphia, just the sixth team foul. They think they're walking down, but they're not walking down yet. This is only going to be an inbound. Hawes got his fourth personal foul. It is not shooting yet. They're going to walk back down the other way and inbound to basketball. The defensive possession by Drexel. They've got a little momentum, a little energy right now. Forced Towson to take the bad shot as the shot clock wound down. Coming up on four minutes left in an 11-point game. All kinds of time. Duroc is trying to heat it up. And he got the miss as it hit the basket support up on top. Well, chances for everybody to settle down just a little bit. But it's turned into something that's looked a little bit more like the WWF here tonight. Late second half, the Drexel Dragons without Joe Linderman, down by 11, just under four minutes left. 